What's poppin' everybody? Today you are listening to episode 14 of Life Being High, the podcast. And today I am in my brand new apartment here in San Diego. Huge shouts out to all of you guys listening, the whole entire Life Being Des fam, all of my beautiful best friends, and everybody out there who watches or supports me in any way, shape, or form. Because this would not have been possible, this move would not have been possible without you guys. So thank you so much for all of that. And I am currently working on a better setup for this podcast as you guys could tell i look um kind of crazy looking like a little gamer girl sitting here but no instead i have my dutch that i'm just gonna spark on up and catch up with you guys so yeah i'm not um too set on this podcast setup so feel free to let me know any comments or suggestions or send me some inspiration because i definitely want to make a dedicated filming spot just how i had in my last apartment but in this one but before we get on into everything i'm gonna spark up this really fat dutch i just rolled up i'm so excited to smoke it with you guys i've been trying to film a new podcast episode for several weeks and life just kept hitting me with random bs and surprises um i feel like especially most recently I'm really learning what it's like truly to be an adult because I'm dealing with things where I'm like, oh my gosh, like, who do I ask for advice? And a lot of my friends are around my age or younger, so I can't really ask them for advice because they haven't experienced what I am now experiencing, which is just like adult things, you know, for example, oh my gosh, the other day, uh, I'm just trying to kick it with my friends. <sighs> have a good time and I'm like going through my mail because you know I got my mail in so I'm going through my mail and then I get like an itemized statement list which you get every time you move out of an apartment you know they of course want to charge you with like a painting fee and carpet cleaning fee and oh my gosh they try to charge me with a $1,500 carpet replacement fee and I'm like honey boo boo I have video proof of how I left my apartment and it had no reason for a $1,500 cleaning motherfucking carpet replacement. Like, I don't know. They're being all extra. And I'm just like, fuck. Like, how do I even... Who do I talk to, you know, about this? Like, because I'm just me, you know. And they're a big old company. So, of course, they're going to try to take my money or do what they got to do to get their money. And it's just a little... Like, I felt that bit of stress where I was just like, fuck. Like, I don't know who to go to. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. That's what Google's for. That's what YouTube's for. That's what other peers and other resources are for. So, I'm not too stressed about it. But that's just a small example of, like, random things that are being hit with me. Because I was also charged with other fees. So, total, I'm getting this letter saying, like, hey, you owe over $2,000. Like, you thought you moved out and paid really high deposit well guess what you're you owe us a couple more thousand and for those of you guys who haven't been keeping up with me or maybe didn't hear i actually super unfortunately totaled my car like that shit is not drivable it's in the shop it's gonna be in the shop for a couple months hopefully like within two months i'll have it but you know you never really know with those things and things change especially with the time that we're in right now like the pandemic and stuff i'm sure it's gonna be harder to get parts shipped and stuff like that so it may be delayed but you know conclusion of it all um i definitely am gonna have to pay a really big sum amount of money to fix my car like i said i got hit with this like letter saying i owe like two thousand dollars like what else happened something else really big happened where i was just like bruh life is hitting your girl you know there was christmas i try to get my family some christmas presents and you know life is just expensive of course i want to treat myself i want to get my nails done y'all ain't gonna see me have nails until my birthday okay that's what i'm gonna treat myself but even then i was thinking how i love to get like birthday nails that go all out and i'm like girl you're gonna get that basic french tip if anything french tip. you know you're gonna get something then press on five dollar walmart press on <laughs> that's what the fuck i'm gonna end up with but you know what all of this all even though like a lot of like random bullshit is happening because i work so hard you know of course like i remember what it was like never being able to get my nose done period you know i remember what it was like taking the bus so the fact that you know i don't get to drive my mercedes around now or i don't get to have the acrylic nails that i want <laughs> um it's fine because those things are extra and 
even though I do work really hard, I know that I'll get them back, you know? And a lot of you guys are actually like, dude, Des, like, I give you props. Like, if I was in your position, like, I'd be going crazy right now with all the random shit that's been hitting you. Oh, I remember that other thing I was, um, I was talking about. I actually went to jail, you guys. So, um... I wasn't like supposed to go to jail. I literally did not do anything illegal that should be a reason for me to be put in jail. But you know, uh, I encountered some racist cops. I actually have a video up on my main channel, Life Being Dest. It is titled um, "The Worst Christmas Ever" or like some weird title like that. And I just kind of update you guys too. I'm always having to update you guys because life is literally hitting me so many random things every second but hey isn't that all of us I feel like we're all going through something that's why I'm, I'm also smiling because it could be worse you know it could very much be worse I could still be in jail you know what I mean but no I'm fucking free and I'm okay and even that like a lot of you guys were thank you to everybody who also commented on that video I uploaded on my main channel I'm talking so fast I have so much to tell you guys but a lot of you guys were telling me, you know, like, press charges on the police, like, make sure they get in trouble, like, get yourself a lawyer, do what you gotta do. And you know what? 1,000% when I first went through that situation, when I was in that cell, and I knew what they were doing was illegal, mistreating me, whatever, I wanted to, of course, get a lawyer and do all these things. Like, I had plans. And then you hear the price. And then you get that itemized statement list that you owe thousands of dollars and then you get the other bills you have to pay and then your ramp bill and then everything else. And then I'm just like, honey, boo-boo, like, it sucks. And it, you know what also sucks? This is, uh, I know I'm going off topic and like just kind of everywhere. I'm literally all over the place in this podcast. But one thing that really fucking sucks is that I can't imagine people out there who are getting mistreated, you know, by the law enforcement or by, you know, whoever and you know they also don't have money for like a lawyer and things like that and they just they just gotta like in a way suck it up and it's just like it sucks you know and i am definitely more fortunate so i i have like options and stuff where i could maybe work something out but it's just you know nothing good comes easy and it's just stressful and it's adult you know dealing with the law and do, dealing with lawyers and things like that it's all like i'm doing it right now because i have to and I'm just like, fuck, like, being an adult is fucking hard. Like, I pay for bills that I never thought that I would ever have to pay in my life, which is, like, for a lawyer and things like that. So, I mean, I have people who also look at me and think, like, oh, like, you get to just be a YouTuber. Like, you know, life is so easy for you. But then I'm dealing with these things. And I'm like, fuck, you know, nobody's life is easy. Um, we all work hard out there. But, yeah, just, just know whatever you're going through could be worse and we're fine just take a deep breath you know smoke our blunts join the podcast catch up with your girl i miss you guys sending you guys huge hugs full of strength i know the year 2020 was probably really rough for a lot of us for me it was full of ups and downs but definitely a lot of downs but then there were some ups so it's like i don't even know what to call it but 2021 i'm hoping for obviously i think we're all hoping for a better year but All we could do is try and to enjoy the moment, for sure. That's something that I'm working on this year. We should talk about some goals. Some goals for 2021. Not get locked up. <laughs> but also, I have a more in-depth story time coming soon about what it was like physically being in the cell, you know, getting submitted, all that. So stay posted for that because I was going to talk about it in this video, but I would be sitting here for hours trying to tell you guys every single detail. You know what I mean? But it wasn't that bad. You know, when I was going through it, I was, I was like, fuck, am I ever getting out? You know what I mean? And it sucks being in that position. I can't imagine for people who just hate their life. You know, I remember what it felt like for me to like hate my life, like absolutely hate my life. And it sucks. I think I was like 17, so I wasn't even like an adult where I could like do things for myself. I couldn't even get a bank account by myself, you know what I mean? Like I remember my mom's man was like stealing my money and I was working so hard. Like, you know, I hated my life. I hated it. And it sucks. It felt like how I felt like in that cell, trapped, you know? But nah, I'm I'm free now and I 
I know I'm fucking free, <laughs> you know? I don't know. I feel like before I got lock locked up, I would have days where I would just be at my in my apartment by myself, no friends, nobody calling me or nothing like that. And I'm just like, fuck, you know, I felt trapped or lonely or whatever negative feeling I was feeling. But once I went through that really bad negative experience of like, you know, getting locked up for literally no reason because cops wanted to be racist and fuck with me. Um, now I'm like, it's made me stronger and I'm like, I ain't gonna let nothing bring me down, you know, and if it does, I know how to bring myself back up, you know, it, it ain't bad going down, but it's, you gotta remember to come back up for sure. And yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> me high as fuck. Let me take a sip. Stay hydrated, my honey boo-boos. Also, shout out to everybody who copped a LBD Mystery 420 box. You guys are so dope for that. I fucking love you guys. You guys are amazing. What else did I come out with? I came out with um, the Dabber tools recently. You guys absolutely killed that. They sold out on the first day I dropped them. So thank you for that. A lot of you guys were requesting for Dabber tools because uh, you weren't able to get it because the box is sold out. And I was like, you know what, the boxes, for me to make a new box, that's going to take several, several months because I'm going to put, of course, lots of time and dedication and thought into it and also making new designs for it, which I'm currently working on, so I can't wait for that project to finally come to life because right now it's very much in the scra scratch books stages, but soon it'll be a physical product that I'll be able to show you guys, so stay posted. But the dab tools... Um, I was like, you know what, let me just come out with a few. So I only came out with a few, and you guys absolutely killed it. I did not think that they were going to sell out in the first day, but they absolutely did. So you guys are real ones. And stay posted, because all those orders are going to ship very soon. And yeah, I hope you guys had a good Christmas, a good New Year's. This year for Christmas, I actually spent it with my family. My family is such like a small, like antisocial little family. So it was just me, my mom, my sister, and my grandma. But it was so like cherish cherishable, cherishable, cherishable. And then I also saw my dad on Christmas Eve. It was amazing. Honestly, so amazing. Like, even though, like, it's so weird because even though, like, literally like the worst things are happening to me like i went to jail i fucking totaled my car like the worst things that i never thought would ever happen to me because you know you just don't think of those negative things um you know those are happening and that those things did happen i'm still having a really blessed life you know god is still blessing me in all sorts of ways and i can't help but smile and be happy and because I have you guys by my side, I actually have some real friends by my side now. Like, I have a small group of friends that I could call when I need them. Um, I have my family that constantly, you know, hitting me up. On the daily, I talk to my grandma, my other grandma, my mom, my dad. And if you guys don't do that and you guys want that, just know that you could have that. You know, when I was 17, I, I thought I hated my family, you know. I was like, y'all ain't gonna let me smoke weed. Y'all ain't gonna give me rides to the dispo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wasn't that ignorant. But, you know, I was just like, the fit. Like, they were honestly probably doing everything they were doing for my own good. But at the time, I didn't see it. And I don't know. In, in, a, in a way, I thought they also hated me. I thought I was, for many years, up until even this uh, past year, 2020, I remember when I would talk to my mom's mom. Not, the, not my OG granny, who I have videos with, but my other grandma. She actually hates weed. She hates marijuana. She doesn't actually 100% know what I do or how I make my money because she doesn't like... She knows I do YouTube, but she doesn't know I really smoke. I mean, she does, but, like, you know, I don't talk to her about it because I know she is not, you know, she's not proud of it. She's proud of it. <laughs> but um, I remember, you know, up until 2020 last year, like, I still was afraid to like call her and like just have casual conversations because i genuinely thought honey boo boo did not like me because i smoke like i don't know i'm such a people pleaser like i'm 1000 percent like a people pleaser that's that's not what god put me on this earth for so i don't know why the fuck i'm so worried about pleasing everybody but um 2021 is my year to learn how to please myself please the lord please my family and the ones who matter and that's it period because Who's going to be around in five years? <sighs> Nobody. No, I'm just kidding. But my damn self, you know what I mean? Who's going to have my back in five years? Myself. So who should care about myself? My damn self. Who should I be worried about? Who cares about me? Myself. You know what I mean? Who thinks about me? 
I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like hella mumbling. Y'all are probably like in your headphones like, girl, I can't even hear you. But yeah, I'm high as fuck. This blunt is super, burning super slow. I swear I keep hitting it, but it's still halfway. What else can I say to you guys? <sighs> Honestly, I have so much things to say, but once I get super lit, I'm just like, huh? I just want to say like funny stuff. I don't want to talk serious anymore, you know? I'm more like the silly old me, but super fun content gonna come out soon you guys um this week i actually am going to go to la and go to a couple meetings do a couple photo actually just one photo shoot and it's gonna be fun i'm gonna vlog it for you guys show you guys the behind the scenes of it all take you guys to a grow room that i'm gonna be shooting at and it should be lots of fun and even after that i want to continue to vlog so you know vlog my daily life in san diego what once i get my Apartment furnished. I'm gonna do a furnished apartment tour. I'm gonna do also a stoner morning routine I remember I filmed one in my first LA apartment and that shit was lit I wanted to film one in my OC apartment, but unfortunately That never happened <laughs> but That's just for personal reasons, but I Feel like another topic I want to talk to you guys about is like moving because I know a lot of you guys are always like why do you move so much, you know? And honestly, I have some reasons, but I don't think they're worth talking about because they're just, you know, irrelevant because it's um, problematic reasons. But just know um, my other two spots were burnt out. <laughs> they were burnt out. It's not that I didn't like my old spot. It was just that it was burnt out. And you know what? Everything in life obviously happens for a reason, okay? I know you haven't heard that before. I know I'm not, I'm not the first person to say that, and it's because it's true. Everything happens for a reason, and it's so weird to think that I was so terrified of moving here. You can ask any one of my homegirls. I only got like four, <laughs> actually like one, <laughs> and uh, I'm all me. I count myself as my homegirl, <laughs> my sister. No, it doesn't count, but... Yeah, um, I was just so nervous. Like, I kept telling them up to the day that I moved in. I was just like, dude, I don't know if I'm going to be happy out there. I don't know if I'm going to be happy out there. Because low-key, all three of my homegirls do live out in, not Orange County, but closer to that area. And they were always just pulling up on me. And we are always having sleepovers and tuning up at my crib. And my crib was low-key, like, spacious compared to this spot. This spot I love, but it is just a one-story. The other spot was a two-story, so... You know, it was more, more room and whatever, so it was dope. Um, it was just a good time. So many amazing memories made there, but um, moving here, I was like, fuck, like, I'm going to be closer to family, so that should be cool because, you know, I didn't have that really close relationship with them, especially when you move far away. It's just it's hard to have a relationship with someone, anyone, you know, especially a friendship. Like, I feel like once you guys move away, and I was scared for that because they were my only friends. I'm like, I don't really know nobody, in, like, friends in San Diego, you know, only family, and I'm not really even trying to make new friends, like, COVID. So I was super, super scared. But I could admit now, I've only been living here for what? Like, let me see. I don't even know what today is. Probably like two weeks. And I couldn't be happier. I literally see my family every other day. Have sleepovers with my mom all the time. With my sister all the time. Um, and you know, we were doing the, those things kind of before. But they were a lot more rare. And you know, the amount of times we've already seen each other. And they came over and I went over to their spots. It's crazy. It's a blessing. And I'm so, 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 so thankful. And it's so crazy that like... Like I said, like, I crashed my car, I fucking went to jail. Like, you would think, like, I would be so sad right now. But how can I be when I'm surrounded by the people I love and you guys constantly supporting me, telling me nothing but positive things despite all of my mistakes in 2020, y'all are... A lot of you guys are still here writing with me, and thank you so much for all that. Y'all are still listening to the podcast, and I fucking love you guys. Even despite me fucking not uploading for, like, two months, um, y'all are still here listening, and... Make sure you have the bell on, <sighs> okay? I know my description says new episode every Friday at 11, okay? Starting now, I'm going to try real, real hard to make sure every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, there is a new podcast episode for you guys. Me running out of breath. Also, 
I just announced the G Pen giveaway winner. If you guys didn't know, I'm giving away a really lit G Pen over on my Instagram. I thought I had it here on my desk to show you, but I do not. Um, but yeah, just go check out my Instagram because I'm always doing giveaways on there. You know, anytime I have the chance to do a giveaway, I definitely want to start taking it because if I could give back, I would love to give back. And if you guys have any requests or items or ideas as to what I should do for a future giveaway, be sure to DM it to me because I definitely want to know. But for now, just stay posted. Valentine's Day is coming up, so really fun Valentine's Day themed videos. Oh my gosh, I hope I have a Valentine this year. I don't think I will, but... I'll be my damn, I'll be my own Valentine. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, just cheap people would love you guys. Cheap people, be the person that you're missing in your life to other people. I feel like that's my favorite quote because that's what I live by. And you know, I ain't perfect, but I'm human. We all are. Every day is a new day and every day counts. And I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and a good rest of the January month and good 2021. Um, I didn't really talk about my weekend. I mean, my weekend. I didn't really talk about my goals, but I'll definitely film a YouTube video for that. So just stay posted for my New Year's resolution goals video. <laughs> but until then, oh, double do.